Mr. Stripey Head is so good and bad You should give him head, suck his wiener Oh, g'day guys, how's it going? Me, I'm going pretty good Now I've been working all week and Got a day off, which I've actually mowed the lawn after two months of standing here going Oh god, I really don't feel like mowing the lawn, but I finally did it Yes, one more thing out of the way and um, yeah, things are looking up all over the shop actually. Except when I go shopping, I still get judged. Just because I wear like, I look like a Darrow when I go shopping because, you know, bare feet, you know, singlet, like I, I don't care what I look like. And that's probably my problem <laughs> and why I'm single. But I, I went to the shops to buy a tie for work because I needed something because I've only got two, so I needed to get like a few more at least. And I go into the shops, and this one at Indrapilly up the road, and I go to the shop that I know has got twenty dollar ties, and they're usually pretty good. So I go in there, and there's this you know big titted slutty looking whore bag behind the counter, and um, I walk in, I, I select a couple of ties, and I uh, walk in, and I see some shoes there like $159 shoes. So I'm thinking, who the hell spends $159 on shoes? That's a male, because it's a men's shop. And then I saw some with $69 on them. I thought, oh, 69 Oh, that's my favorite. Anyway, I saw the $69 ones, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at those. I open them, they're like that polished black shoe. Look, They look terrible. And I was thinking, oh, well, no wonder they're 69 and the girl walks over and she goes, oh, you're looking at some shoes? I said, yeah, I was just looking at these $69 ones. She goes, she looks at me and goes, yeah, I suppose you can't afford the other ones. Fucking rude bitch. I was like, darling, you don't know what I can afford. I can afford to buy you, that's for sure. You dirty whore bag slut. So, you know, just, if you're in the customer service, you know, you should never judge anyone. She doesn't know me. She doesn't know how much money I got in the bank. She doesn't know I'm a YouTube star earning billions of dollars every year from crappy videos I upload. <laughs> you don't know me. Hey? Huh? Yeah. You don't know me. So keep your mouth shut. So anyway, that was just an experience where I thought, you know, that's bad customer service. And last night I went down to a new tavern that's near me. And like, it's a sports bar, right? <laughs> Me and my mate, we go to a sports bar because we wanted to watch the well, one day cricket from India. We go there, they don't even have Fox. They don't even have Fox Sports. They don't even have sports on the TV. They were playing freaking Channel 9 Dancing with the Stars in the sports bar. And I was thinking, what the fuck is going on here? And we we're saying, oh, where, have you got the cricket on? They said, no, we don't have Fox sports in this sports bar <laughs> and we're both just looking at each other going well that's pretty fucked and he goes yeah sorry about that guys yeah it's pretty fucked you know if you want to go there's another club down the road you should go there and this is a brand new tavern and then the girl there's a girl that's listening in she's going yeah this place is shit and these are the staff that work there there's a lot to learn if you're hiring people you're employing people. You better make sure that you just get them to, you know, lie, basically, and tell everyone how good everything is, even if it's crap. <laughs> and that's what I do at work, you know, when I'm selling something. Even if I know it's a little, might be a little bit whatever, I haven't got the proof to prove it. If somebody tells me, oh, yeah, the, these things, this thing happens with these cars, oh, I don't know that. You're telling me, but you, I've, I've got no proof, so. But still, you know, you shouldn't go bagging something unless you hate it and you want to get sacked. In that case, just go for it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was just a couple of funny experiences that I, I recently went through. But, yeah, if you're watching, you ugly, fat, blonde haired, big knockered, well, you're not fat, you're <laughs> pretty good looking. But, you know, don't judge me, baby, because you don't know me. Uh, that's all. Hope you're having a good weekend.
and I'll see you next time. <laughs>